Hi, good morning, everybody. This is Marilyn. Do we have any audio? Yes. No? Yes, thank you. Um, my charts, are my charts uploading incessantly? Uh, okay. Um, Fabian, what you may need to do is log out of the room and then log back in. Okay. Okay. Anyway, good morning, everybody. This is Marilyn, and it's the morning edition of Welcome to My World on December the 17th, which is a Thursday. Um, my goodness, we had a very exciting day trading yesterday, didn't we? If, uh, if you've never uh, traded FOMAC before or watched, we've had a lot of good lessons on uh, volatility this week. Uh, and also yesterday, if you scroll back and look at your chart and notice the um, at crude oil inventory, that was just a chop, which lasted, I mean, it was less than a minute, but it was really, really obvious uh, on, on these apex charts. So anyway, um, that much volatility doesn't happen all the time, every time, but boy, yesterday was a, that was a real roller coaster ride. But this is why we tell you to pay attention to the news over and over and over. Speaking of which, this morning we've got uh, the Philly Fed and unemployment claims. I love the way they put that. Unemployment claims, is that what they claim the unemployment is? Or is that, well, they're the brain trust and they would know, I guess. Um, anyway, we have uh, Nat Gas. For those of you who trade uh, Nat Gas, on inventory day in Nadex. So um, let's see. We've got the indices in the U.S. are uh, they headed up overnight, but now they're starting to back off. And somebody in the room, I think uh, David is talking about uh, trading the um, FTSE off of Ninja Trader. Uh, you may have to pay something extra for the data feed to Ninja on that. I'm not positive, but double check with them. We have gold right now falling out of bed. Um, it looks like it's on a serious mission. So, um, bonds look a little undecided. They've been putting up dojis for quite some time and then they try to go up and then they try to go down and then they make another doji or two in a row for 30 minute uh, charts and the Canadian dollar seems to be um, about the same we had beans really sell off yesterday and then they the uh, late overnight session they came right back up again so anyway, this is the time of year where a lot of money is being repositioned. I mean, big money. And it will add to the volatility. This morning is the time to roll your crude oil contract February if you're trading futures. February is now the active contract. And what that means is that's where the uh, volume is going. So we want to follow the money and we want to be with the volume. If you have not done that, if you don't know how to do that, there is a post um, in the forum. Just put in the search contract role or something like that, but you have to do it in the instrument manager. I wanted to uh, point out one thing for you this morning on this crude oil too. Um, Early in the morning, sometimes it's a crude oil can be a bit slower than during the rest of the day. And you can pick up some nice ticks without um, without the herky-jerky thing it can do. But 
the um I know a lot of you think I'm insane because I put all these little minor streets. These this little dotted uh whatever that is, a cyan line right here, and this little dotted orange or red or whatever that is right there. This one is the open of the day and this is the high of yesterday. So what does that mean? Uh, not much, but I promise you the bus driver knows exactly where that is. And this morning when you had this P and the E was painting and then it you you could have gotten in right at the um, right at this open of the day just for a quick scalp down to the high of yesterday was about I think it was about 17 ticks but even 15 ticks 15 16 17 ticks that's a nice safe trade right there the reason you would want to get out here is because your MVP predictor had started to level out and besides that in an early morning scalp off of crude oil that's that's plenty and this uh your sharpshooter chart was also gave you a, a down uh mvp right about then when you get these mvp arrows on this 12 tick and they show up on the the 10 minute and i'm talking about the confirmed ones not these I thought I had these others turn. I'll turn these off on here. They're supposed to be off. When they show up about the same time, um, that is an extremely powerful signal. So, because remember, 12 tick charts have no relationship to time whatsoever. It can take two hours to form one of these bars, but 10 minutes is 10 minutes. I think that's about um, all I have. Let's see, we don't have anything else too exciting pending this morning. And so I'll come back about noon and we'll see what the market has brought. If anybody needs help rolling that contract or you don't know how to do it even after you look at the... Uh, one thing I do is... I don't know if any of you have ever noticed these little um these little boxes right here. You can link your charts and I have mine linked to the the dome and the the time and sales and the chart and all that stuff by these colors. So I've linked all my crude oil charts to this purple color. After you get your uh if you've got all your stuff because it's going to affect everything it's going to affect time and sales every single chart you have on crude oil then oh now i don't know how to get it off there um but then all you have to do when you've got your instrument manager changed is just change this over to one i mean it doesn't matter which one you do and they will all automatically change which takes a heck of a lot less clicking and time to get everything to change. So um, with that, I will sign off for now and see you about noon. This has been my view from my world in Apex land, brought to you by Apex Investing. Thanks.